Hey guys, uh, let me give you a heads up. If you are not religious or spiritual anyway, don't bother watching this video because in this video I'm going to kind of bridge the gap between science and religion or spiritual belief. Um, and it's really not so difficult to do. If you've already seen my video on reality, uh, you'll have a good idea what I'm going to talk about. But in this case, I'm going to single out the idea of scalar energy. And the reason why I'm going to talk about scalar energy is because it's critical for so many things that are happening in very modern science, cutting edge science, um, and especially as applies to the Iteracare device, which is the reason why you keep hearing me talking about the Iteracare device. Now, scalar energy goes by many different names. There are many different debates out there about what it is. These debates are not even new. It's been going on for over a hundred years. Uh, so again, I'm not saying anything new and many people still debate about what is scalar energy. The basic idea is scalar energy is not here. It's not a phenomena of this, I'll say local reality of the physical reality of our 3D or 4D space-time reality. Now this whole definition and debate goes back thousands of years um, to the idea of Plato first saying that we are just shadows on a wall and the ultimate reality is somewhere else. That somewhere else is what some people might call heaven or nirvana, etc. So this is again why I mentioned if you're not a spiritual or religious or philosophical person even, um, you don't want to watch this video because science, in particular quantum physics, has already shown us, basically proven to us, basically ended the argument that's been going on for thousands of years and shown us that the ultimate reality is in fact non-local, meaning there is something beyond our physical space-time reality that we experience. Um, and what it is would be beyond our comprehension. However, I, once again, quantum physics reveals a lot to us. And so again, we have this idea of scalar energy, um, which again, even scientists will agree is not really here. Um, and that, of course, that's difficult for us to grasp because it does have influence here. It does have an impact here. Um, and so I want to try to explain to you what that impact is uh, and how it affects us. So one of the most interesting ways to think of it is simply as the energy of life. It is what brings life here. It is that, that energy. And I've mentioned this in many other videos. Um, and so scalar energy goes by many names. Ki in Japanese, Chi in Chinese, Prana in uh, Ayurvedic or Indian cultures. Um, other scientific names even are used for it. Tesla energy, crystal energy, okay? Um, the reason why crystals are associated with it is because it seems that we are really able to generate various, I don't want to say forms, um, but I could say various forms of scale energy with crystals. And the reason why I don't like forms is because there is simply scalar energy. But the thing about scalar energy is that we are able to put other energy signatures on scalar energy. So scalar energy is an amazing carrier. And this is the secret behind homeopathy and many other things, especially many new technologies that are enabling us to basically uh, take the signature of something that is good, a good energy signature, and then bring it to our body. Okay, so again, there's a lot of different terminology when we talk about this idea of signatures. Um, when we're taking, for example, once again, I use homeopathy or Bach flower remedy, if you've heard of that. Um, we've got modern devices now where we're actually impregnating or transferring these uh, special signatures of energy from from things we know are good and we, we can put them into even a flask containing water and then water can then kind of absorb that signature and then give that signature to us as we consume the water and so there are a lot of things that do this it's usually water that is that the universal universal carrier but the 
the energy itself, meaning the scalar energy itself, can go anywhere. We can transmit it anywhere, across anything. We cannot actually block scalar energy, which is interesting. And the reason why is because, again, it is not actually of this world, so to say. It's kind of beyond here, so it's not bound by these things. And so uh, it's magnificent to use it in so many different ways. And once again, this is the strength, one of the strengths of the Itericare device is that it's generating scalar energy, uh, just a pure scalar energy. It may or may not be imbuing that scalar energy with certain good signatures, uh, although that's not necessary to have a positive effect. Just this idea of life energy is good. And of course, if it's carrying good signatures, that's a good thing. However, scalar energy could also carry bad signatures. And this is one of the big problems with EMF, right? Uh, EMF or bad EMFs, right? Electromagnetic radiation. Because even when we try to block or nullify bad electromagnetic frequencies, things that are not compatible with the human body. When we block them, when we suppress them, in many times we are creating still a scalar energy output that is carrying the signature of that negative frequency so it's not good for us. Um, and so the really the ultimate way to block or to stop or to protect us, to shield us from negative EMFs is with good scalar energy because it's gonna actually nullify the negative scalar energy that's coming in or harmonize it. Um, so there's a lot of, like, once again, there's a lot of different ways of looking at this and I wanna just try to help you understand a little bit more um, so that you can maybe feel more confident about some of the solutions you are using, whether it's crystals, uh, and there's so many different types of crystal hearing, or it's homeopathy, or it's Bach flower remedy, or it's the Itericare device. Um, I want you to understand that there's actually very good sound, hardcore science behind it in quantum, quantum physics, as we learn more and more and come up with new theories about what is basically quantum field theory, th quantum field theory, and more specifically even quantum electrodynamics. And you don't have to understand any of that, but I just want you to know that the science is out there and we are understanding these things more and more every day. And that's why you are seeing more products. Uh, and as the future gets closer, you'll see even more products taking advantage of these quantum effects, if we want to use a scientific term. Uh, things that our ancient ancestors have already known for thousands of years. So. Take advantage of these things for yourself and uh, contact me if you want to learn more. Thanks for listening.